today's devotional can be found in Helaman chapter 5, verse 12. And now, my sons, remember, remember that it is upon the rock of our Redeemer, who is Christ the Son of God, that ye must build your foundation, that when the devil shall send forth his mighty wind, yea, his shafts in the whirlwind, yea, when all his hail and his mighty storm shall beat upon you, it shall have no power over you to drag you down to the gulf of misery and endless woe. Because of the rock upon which they are built, which is a sure foundation, a foundation whereon men build, they cannot fall. All right. So, Christ is a sure thing. If we come unto him as we are, with trust that he can perfect us, We will not be let down. Christ will not let us down. We will not be let down by Christ. It is a sure thing to come unto Christ for help in overcoming our weaknesses and our sins that we might be able to look beyond them. And remember who we are and what we can truly become. And Christ, he lifted us up from the fall. He lifted us up from the darkness, the being cut off from God. Was after the fall of Adam and Eve, because even though the fall was necessary, there was consequence. Man was cut off from God after being given commandments and making promises and being given the promise of a savior. And since he lifted us up, the savior becomes our foundation if we want him to be. And he is a steady foundation. He died for us that we might live on. He was the one that made resurrection possible. Through his blood, the price on our souls was paid. And the devil hates it because he too, back when he was an angel, he volunteered to be the executor of the atonement. But he wanted to make everyone come back. And rob people of their agency, and Christ wanted to give people their agency. And of course, God sent Jesus Christ to do that particular work that we may keep, that we might keep our agency. Oh, but Satan became angry, and because of that anger and his rebellion, he and his followers were tossed out. A third group of the host of heaven is no more because of that simple yet powerful choice. And we should not be afraid to come unto Christ because he's a sure thing and he will guide us into doing things that do good for other people, inspire them, and help make the world a better place. And the devil will surely try to keep his hold on us. Because all he can do as a spirit is that. He cannot grow, he cannot progress. So he doesn't want any of us to grow and progress either. And so he sends forth trouble, he sends forth temptation. He sends forth subtleties in his hopes of getting us to fall and to stay fallen and to not remember that the atonement can help pick us up and he shall send his wrath upon those who stay close to Christ but those who are truly 
with Christ, those who truly use him as a foundation of safety and stability, those who truly use the atonement every day will not be moved. They will not fall away, they will stay on their foundation. And the hope is that many will see the need for Christ as time goes on. And sadly, some will not. Some will not see the need for Christ. And Satan will grab hold of them and drag them down to that gulf of misery and endless woe. Because people don't, some don't see the need. For the atonement and they may not see it in this life because of what the burdens of the world and what Satan has, has done to them, has done to their true self. They may be so overwhelmed by everything that they cannot see the Savior in this life, but fear not that there is a chance after mortality to see the Savior and embrace him and still have all the happiness. It is a harder journey. Real addictions and placations will still be with you in spirit prison. However, there will be no way to placate them because placating addictions and desires is a physical thing. And, and with just a spirit, those cannot be placated. And we shouldn't be ashamed to admit when we need the help of the Savior, because He is not ashamed to help us. He is not ashamed when we come unto Him broken and bleeding and bruised spiritually and physically and in need of help. And Christ is the rock of our salvation. He us from endless misery that would have come as a result of the fall. I mean, death was forever before the atonement. And because of the atonement, death is not the end, but a beginning. And we need to always remember that and embrace the time that we have. We need to make the most of the time that we have. Bird is running short. And the Savior is there to help us make the most of the time that we have, because we cannot do it alone, and we shouldn't try to do it alone. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.